Hi, Greg Hughes here from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to talk to you about three different things, three effects, scroll spy and the affix effect, along with the smooth scrolling effect that occurs with bookmarks. Let me show you what I mean. On this page, I have a menu. I happen to be using a CSS menu, but you could use a responsive menu or you could use the text menu. Any of these three menus have this ability. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to double click on this CSS menu and you'll see that I've checked off two options. One is to enable the scroll spy effect and the other one is to enable the affix effect. And I'm going to show you what those do in just a minute. So those are the two things that work together often. But I've added a third effect that is called smooth scrolling. And in fact, there's a video just about that, but I'm going to include it in this one because it works so well with these two. If you scroll down here on the page, you'll see that I've placed some bookmarks or anchors. And again, there's a video about bookmarking, but these bookmarks are just basically invisible locators that allow me to link to this section of the page. Remember, you can create links or hyperlinks to other pages on your website or to other websites, or even to specific positions on the website. And that's what a bookmark is for. So this menu up here is actually linked. Section one, in fact, is linked to this bookmark. I've called this bookmark one. So when the user clicks on this section one menu item, it's going to take them to that part of the page. Same thing for two, three, and four. When they click on section four, it's going to take them down to this bookmark down here, bookmark four, I called it, and take them to this section of the page. However, because I want it to look smooth in my bookmarks, I chose that third effect. If you double click on the bookmark, you'll see we can enable smooth scrolling. So I've talked about three different things. Smooth scrolling on the bookmarks and there are links to them from the menu and the scroll spy and a fix effect that are set up for this menu. Let me show you what they do and that'll help you the most. So I'm going to click F5 and preview this page. This page, by the way, is available on the 90 Second Website Builder website. If you go to the features link and then find the scroll spy and a fix effect, you'll see this page and you can use this demo to see how it works. Let me show you, first of all, what's going to happen. As we scroll down the page, I want you to look at this menu right here. And by the way, the way it looks, the color that it's showing when it hovers, all of that is editable under the style tab, just like you would expect any object like this in 90 Second Website Builder. I'm just going to leave it like this because it's simple for you to figure out how to make it look the way you want to look and change the colors. What I want you to notice, though, is what happens to this menu as I scroll down the page. And you're going to see why it's called the affix effect. Because what happens is, no matter how far the user goes down the page, this menu will be affixed to the edge of the browser like that. In other words, it's always within reach of the end user. That's what the affix effect does. That keeps the navigation visible at all times. So that's one thing. But we've also enabled scroll spy. Now what scroll spy does is it changes the menu item to its hover state as soon as you scroll down to the section it's linked to. So in other words, since section one is linked down to the bookmark next to section one on my page, as we scroll down, and you'll see that it's affixing, as soon as we get to the area that this is linked to, so section one is linked to this section of the page by way of an invisible bookmark right here, but as we get closer to it, watch what happens to the menu and it switches to a hover state to show the user that that's where they are on the page. You're at section one. If we keep scrolling, you'll see that that affixed menu will display section two as the hover state as soon as we get there and so on. Section three and section four. That in and of itself is pretty good. That's just the scroll spy and a fix effect. But now you'll see why I added the smooth scroll. Let's close this. And remember, when we go down to our bookmarks, and every one of them have this, we double click on it, we enabled smooth scrolling. That means when the user clicks on the menu, I'm going to click F5 again, it will do the scrolling for them. So as we click on section one, watch what happens. We just smooth scrolled down to section one, and the affixed menu showed us where we are by way of the hover state. We can keep going. We click on section two, we smooth scroll there, section three, section four, and we can bounce around and toggle to wherever we want to. If the user clicks on section two, we'll smooth scroll right back up to section two, and we can go anywhere we want. 
So the application for this is really universal and it's a very popular web design model right now because you can create navigation that takes people to different spots on the web page without taking them to a new page or a new website. And so it works really great if you want to display content all on one page and yet still make it easy for your user to get to that content. Also, by using the affix effect, that navigation is always in front of them. And of course, I made a very simple, plain looking menu. They don't have to say section one, obviously I did that for the demo they would say whatever you want them to say. Maybe learn more about our products, learn more about our services, contact us. And when they click on that button, it would take them down to the area where they can contact you, that kind of a thing. Many of the responsive templates in the members area for 90 Second Website Builder use this very effect in different forms, and you'll see it as you work with those templates. So anyway, that's just another really cool effect actually three effects in one that you can use on your websites that you're designing a 90 second website builder.